I'm Martin Bailey. I'm Chief Technology Officer at, at Global Graphics. That's the, the, the company behind the Harlequin Rip, JAWS Rip, JAWS PDF Technologies. At Drupal this week, this year in Dusseldorf, um, we're basically launching two things with a little celebration on the side. The Harlequin Rip is now 20 years old, so we've been celebrating that. Uh, it's changed a little bit in the last 20 years, but uh, happy birthday, Harlequin. We're, this is also the international launch of a new version of the RIP, the Harlequin Plus Server RIP version 8. So we've got a bunch of new features in that that we've been showing people. And our other key announcement at this show is the uh, launch of a new website called harlequin.com, which includes a community forum for peer-to-peer -peer networking, for access to white papers and other information on how you can increase the productivity of your Harlequin RIP in installation. Global Graphics is committed to an OEM model of sales for most of our products. We sell a combination of core underlying technology, which includes Harlequin RIP and JAWS RIP and most of our sales of JAWS PDF technologies. We sell those as technology that people build systems around. We have done a certain amount of uh, wrapping of that technology for end user sales in some of the PDF JAWS, uh, JAWS PDF technology, so you see JAWS PDF Creator, JAWS PDF Editor, JAWS PDF Server, etc. But for most of our products, our focus is on the core technology. How that is sold by our OEMs varies hugely. At one end of the scale, you've got someone like the um, HP Indigo team who are building a complete workflow system that is capable of driving, oh, they have one here at Drupal, driving 4,500 pages per minute out of a RIP stack. For, um, and that can drive over 30 Indigo 7000s at the same time, or uh, it's plenty fast enough for driving their new, their new um, inkjet press. Uh, at the other end of the scale, we have OEM partners who will sell single RIPs with kits for connecting to existing hardware. So there is certainly a scope for some, some, of, uh, some print service providers or, or system integrators to buy a Harlequin RIP that is almost a bare RIP and integrating that themselves into a workflow using something like, uh, like Switch from Gradual Software now back in Artwork Systems, ESCO Artworks. So, so the Harlequin RIP started obviously as a PostScript RIP and we added native PDF interpreting in uh, 1997 and in 2007 we added XPS support into the Harlequin Plus server rip. In fact we've released that earlier on other, other print areas outside of professional print. We first demonstrated that in 2004. We added XPS for professional printing more, not, not because we think professional print needs yet another file format, that's obviously not true but because we believe there are some sectors of print who will be asked by their customers very strongly uh, within a few years to accept files in XPS. This is not something that will happen overnight. It's not something that will invade the very high quality end. If you're looking at advertising in Vogue, you're not going to see advertising in XPS for, well, quite a long time, if ever. Uh, XPS isn't going to isn't a PDF killer, but we do see some significant advantages for XPS in certain cases. One of them being adoption by large organisations, banks, corporates, government agencies, as a file format for sharing documents internally. Because there are advantages if, as an organisation moves to Windows Vista and Windows Server 2008, and that's a when, not an if. Uh, when they do that, then every workstation has the ability to make XPS, to view XPS. And that means that if you are the IT department for, let's say, 200,000 workstations, not having to install software, support extra software, track licenses, all of those things is a huge benefit over something like PDF, of which the operating system does not have all of that built in. I think there are a number of image formats that are becoming more important as we go forward into more advanced uh, photo printing. Right now, a huge proportion of photos that are printed through uh, professional photo book finishing or photo finishing operations are JPEG. 
because that is what you get off a consumer digital camera, what you get off a, off a mobile phone with a camera handy. Um, it's interesting to speculate how that may change in the future. Microsoft launched the HD photo format with Windows Vista and XPS, which has some significant advantages for allowing higher quality from relatively poor uh, digital cameras uh, to allow automatic adjustment of tone curves, etc., without, without losing detail in highlights and shadows. Will that be adopted? I don't know. It's certainly being standardized at the moment in ISO. Uh, it's going to come out as JPEG XR. Um, but I, I wondered recently how many JPEG, how many products I had at home that supported JPEG. And when I got up to a couple of dozen, including my TV, my DVD player, my digital photo frame, my camera, my phone, a, a very large number of devices, there's going to be a lot of inertia behind staying with JPEG. I would love to see HD photo um, becoming successful because it does have some significant technology advantages and I'm a technologist. Whether it has the um, sufficient technical advantages to uh, push JPEG out of the way, I don't know at this stage. But we're supporting HD photo on our products, so we're ready for it anyway. Oh, my, my highlight for, uh, for Drupa is finding that we, we weren't too late for the Spargel season because I had, I had worried that we were because it's so late in, in May and into June. But I think, for me, the, the, real, the technical highlight, which was a wonderful endorsement of what we've been doing in, inside Global Graphics, was going to the HP booth, and they have this speedometer showing just how fast they are working with. We were talking about photo books earlier. They're, they're printing real photo book pages with high image coverage, and the peak rate I saw on that machine was 4,600 pages per minute. That's quite something, and I'm proud to be a part of that.